Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the two integers, that is, the initial bank balance and then the end transaction where each transaction contains amount and balance after that transaction. The program is print the bank credit or debit statement as shown below. So first we are going to accept the two integers that is the initial bank balance and the end transaction where each transaction contains an amount and the balance after that transaction and we are going to print the bank credit or debit statement as the output. Now we will take our first test case. So in this test case we have the initial bank balance is 5000 and the number of transaction is 5. So the initial bank balance is 5. So we will write it as opening balance. So bank balance is 5000 and then for the first transaction we have uh, the current balance is less than the opening balance so the amount is being debited so since 1000 rupees is debited from the initial bank balance we will write debit and 500 the balance balance is 4000 and then we can see that we have 4500 which is greater than the current balance that is 4000 so the amount has been credited so credited amount is 500 so sorry here it is 1000 from 5000 to 4000 and then 4000 to 4500 500 is being credited and then we have 4900 which is greater than 4500 the current balance so the amount is being again credited so the credited amount is 400 and now the balance becomes 4900 and then we have 900 that is being debited as you can see the 4000 is less than 4900 so amount debited is 900 and the balance is 4000 and then finally the balance becomes 2000 which is less than the current balance so the amount is being debited so debited amount is 2000 and the balance is also rupees 2000 so this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so in this test case the opening balance is 1500 and we have three transactions 
So in the first transaction, we have the current balance is greater than the opening balance. So the amount credit is 500 and the balance is 2000 and then we have 2300. So the amount is greater than the current balance. So 300 is credited and the balance now is 2300. And then we can see that we have 2000 which is less than the current balance so 300 is being debited so debit amount is 300 and now the balance is 2000 so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get the input that is the initial bank balance and then the number of transactions and after that we'll print the opening balance as it is the balance and then after printing the balance now we'll go for the transactions so we'll iterate over them and get the amount and the balance that is our CDR in range from 1 to n plus 1 we will have the amount and then the current balance so after getting the amount and the current balance we are going to check the condition that is if the current balance is greater than the balance means we are going to print the amount is that is credited so we'll print credit and we have to print that amount and also the balance so first we'll print the amount and then the current balance so after that if the balance current balance is lesser than the balance means the amount is being debited so we'll have to print debit and then again we have to print the amount and current balance and finally we'll have the balance equal to the current balance and now let us run our program We'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output as you can see we have got the bank statement for each transaction now we'll pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.